Hello and welcome back. In the last session, we looked at how we can install Docker Engine on Ubuntu machine and then we ran Docker Run Hello World and it worked like magic, right? But what actually happened under the hood? If you just use the magic without understanding it, you will get stuck the moment something goes wrong. So in this session, we are going to open the hood and look at the engine. We are going to understand the Docker architecture, what the key pieces are and how they talk to each other. Then we will learn our first essential commands for managing this system. Let's demystify Docker. Now, before we dive into the details, if you found this content helpful, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and allows me to keep making more videos just like this one. Let's get started with this. When you installed Docker, you did not just install one thing. You installed a whole client server system. There are four key components you need to know. Number one is the Docker client or CLI. This is you. Well, it's the command line interface you use. When you type commands like docker run into your terminal, you're using the docker client. But the client is just a messenger. It does not do the heavy lifting. It takes your commands and sends them to number two, the docker daemon or the docker engine. This is the brain. This is a server process that runs in the background on your machine managing everything. It's responsible for building images, running containers, storing images, all the core work. So the pattern is you, the user, tells client what to do. The client tells the daemon to do it. This is why when Docker desktop is not running, you get an error, the client has no one to talk to. Now, what does the Docker daemon manage? Two crucial things. One is a Docker images. Think of an image as a read-only template or a blueprint. It's a file system snapshot that includes everything needed to run an application. The code, the runtime, libraries, environment variables and configurations. It's inert. It's like a stopped program on your computer. The hello world we downloaded, that's an image. And then from this image, we get your containers. This is the magic. A container is a running instance of an image. When you tell the daemon to docker run, it takes the blueprint, which is basically your image, and creates a living, breathing, isolated process from it, which is your container. You can have many containers running from the same single image. So like from one single Nginx image, I can run multiple containers. Let's replay what happened with docker run hello world using this diagram. So let's say here we will run docker run hello world so here this terminal the cli this is what we use to send the command so here we are running this command which is basically using the cli this command in turn goes to your docker daemon now the docker daemon will check locally whether the image is available or not if it doesn't find an image then it will download the image from a registry like your docker hub now the image is stored locally. Then the daemon creates a new running container from that image. So here, I mean, this is the output of your container. So the output from your container is sent back through the daemon to the CLI and displayed to the user. That's basically what happens. So here, essentially, if my Docker daemon does not find the image we need, it goes to your Docker registry, it searches for the image, and then downloads it to your local machine and stores it as a cache. That's the full flow. You have the client which talks to your daemon. Daemon manages our images and containers. Understanding this relationship is the key to mastering Docker. Now that we know the theory, let's get practical with the commands you will use every single day. Open up your terminal if you want to follow along. Now, we already know about docker version and the docker run command that we just used. Let's look at three new essential commands. The first command we have is your uh, docker info. So this is your system dashboard. It gives you a high level overview of your entire docker environment. Look at all this information. You will see how many containers are running, uh, how many containers are stopped or you know paused all that information how many images you have what operating system that uh, you are using 
how much memory you have it's a gold mine of information remember this command for when you need a, when you need a quick system check next we have the docker ps command this is maybe the most used docker command ever it lists your running containers think of ps as process status ha huh. it's empty so when i run this command you can see i'm getting an empty output that's because the hello world container did its job and stopped to see all containers including stopped ones we will use this hyphen a or hyphen hyphen all flag there it is now we can see our first container the docker ps hyphen a command shows you the container id so here this is the container id what image it was created from the status and when this was created this is your master list of every container on your system next we have the docker images command remember images are the blueprints this command lists all the image blueprints you have downloaded and stored on your machine perfect so here you can see this shows us the hello world image locally and now if you run the docker run hello world again it will be instant because it won't need to download anything so let's say i will run this docker run hello once again and you can see this was instant this time i did not see that unable to find the image locally downloading the image all those things because now i have a cache of that image on my local machine itself and also you can see how tiny this image is it's only about 10 kb so let's do a quick recap we have leveled up from just using magic to understanding the machinery so we have the docker cli which is your command line interface we have the docker daemon which is the brain that does the work then you have the images which is your read only blueprints or the templates and then you have the containers which is the running instances of those images we also learned about three essential commands for managing it all we looked at the docker info which is used for a system overview we have the docker ps hyphen a which is used to list all the containers your running containers as well as your stopped containers and then we have the docker images which is used to list all of your images and that brings us to the end of this session in the next session we are going to talk about understanding the docker run command and the docker run flags if this architecture deep dive was helpful hit that like button it really helps the channel if you have any questions drop them in the comments section below and subscribe so that you don't miss the next part of the series thank you for watching and i will see you in the next session